We're learning new details following an investigation from Vermont State Police after troopers shot a man in the town of Burke. And BC 5's Adrian Pastor is live from the St. Johnsbury Police Barracks for us. And Adrian, what's the latest on this case? Yeah, well, Jack, Liz, we are told by police that 30 year old Brendan Sackle of Hopkinton, Rhode Island, was the one that was behind the wheel of that car before crashing and confronting police with a weapon. Now, this all happened Sunday night just after 10 near the intersection of Route 114 and Pinkham Road. After police say Sackle led them on a chase from New Hampshire through the Northeast Kingdom. At one point, Border Patrol spike stripped the vehicle's tires, but he continued for 34 miles from Norton, Vermont to Burke. Police say they were received notice of a warrant for Sackle over the weekend as he was suspected of being in possession of high capacity firearm magazines. Now, after the exchange with police, the car was brought back to the barracks this morning for for further investigation. The troopers involved in the shooting walked away unharmed and their names have not yet been released. Now, Sackle was taken to Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center and at last check, his condition was said to be critical but stable. Now, keep in mind, this investigation is still in its earliest stages and we, when we spoke to to VSP about an hour ago. They said that there's a lot of details that they will be releasing, including the names of those troopers in the coming days. We're live in St. John's Barry tonight. Adrian Pastor, NBC5 News.